Hi, my name is Tom Casey and I wanted to do a quick short video today on your limousine company. Basically the purpose of this video is to compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you guys fall out. Search results when people are searching online for limo service in Atlanta. I'm just going to cover two factors today because I want to keep this video short but there are a couple things I want to run, want to run by you. Before I jump in that though I want to show you how many people are searching for limo service. This is a tool from Google and actually goes out and does a count by month of search terms on average. And so what you're looking at here, the number of people for the last four months from February on back who are searching for limo service in Atlanta. Okay, so November was 1,300. This rounds it up to the nearest one, 10 or 100. Um, December was 1,000. January dropped down to 480. That's still a lot though. And February back up to 1,000. That's a lot of people searching for limo service. So I thought this would be a good exercise. So what I did, I went over here to Google and did a search for limo service in Atlanta. This is page one, okay. Let's see where I find you. You are over here. There you are, limo Atlanta airport car service. And you are on page two. So kind of near the bottom of page two. All right, so again, just two factors I want to run by you. These are um, two factors that search engines consider when they're doing rankings. They obviously consider more than two, but again, to keep this video short and reasonable, we're going to look at these two today. What I want to do is compare you with someone on this page using those factors. I want to see if there's any differences, and if there are any differences, if there's anything that could be done about it to help you and move you up in search rankings. So we're going to use Hennessy. Uh, transportation for comparison, all right? So first factor we're going to discuss today is something called citations. A citation is a listing for your business on a directory site. It's a name, address, phone number listing, okay? And I'm going to give you an example. This site here actually goes out and finds directory sites. Here's one called uh, Local Dispatch. So if Limo Atlanta Airport Car Service had a listing on Local Dispatch, name, address, phone number, listing. That would be considered one citation. Now search engines like citations. The more, the better. They feel it makes you more legitimate as a business, therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. Okay, now at the top of this page, we actually can do a citation count. And I put your business in here, and it's telling me you have 71 citations. Well, that's not so bad. Hennessy, who we're comparing ourselves to, has 126. Okay, so there's a bit of a difference there. However, good news is, you can quickly and easily get added to these directory sites. This number 71, we can bump that up over 100 in short order. And when we do that, it'll give you a nice positive impact in search results. You definitely are going to move up from where you're currently listed right now just by adding those citations. All right, so that's citations. Now let's talk about my second factor I want to tell you about today. And that's something called backlinks. A backlink is a link from one website to your website. As an example, if there was a website called AtlantaLimoSupplies.com and on that website they had a link to LimoAtlantaAirportCarService.com Obviously that goes to your site. That's considered one backlink. Okay? So search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. Again, for similar reasons, they feel it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you. Okay? This site here actually goes out and does a backlink count. So here's your website. And the number we want to look at is unique active, even though all your numbers are the same. <laughs> you have three unique active backlinks, all right? Let's go look at Hennessy. Okay, they have 38 unique active. So that's more than you, obviously, by quite a bit. But the good news is we can add backlinks to your site. We probably don't need to add that many to really help you out. What we want to do is get this number up. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming into your site. The stronger the website is that's linking to you, the higher that score is going to be. What we want to do is get this close to 30%, low 30%. So if we added 10 good quality backlinks to your site, which we could do, 10 good quality links from good quality websites, and get this score up to like 30 something percent, that would be huge for you. You would really move up in the rankings. Definitely more people would find you. Okay? So anyway, we just talked about citations and backlinks today, but you can see that there's definitely differences between you and someone on the first page of Google. 
you also are seeing that there are steps we can take to eliminate those differences and mitigate them. And when we do, with just these two factors alone, give you a nice boost in search rankings. All right? So I hope you found this was helpful. This is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. If you want me to review other factors I do with my other customers, that's free. If you want me to re review your website, that's also free. There's no cost. There's no obligation. So go ahead and give me a call if you'd like or shoot me an email and we can go from there. Have a great day. Bye now.